We'll take a look at how we can use a table of values to recognize whether or not an equation is linear, quadratic, or neither one. Uh, and again, we always have to go back to differences, and differences specifically in the y values, of, or the, uh, of consecutive y values. So what you want to do is you actually want to take consecutive y values and you want to subtract them. Okay, and so I always go use a table of values and then I go from the bottom up. Okay, and so what I would end up doing is I do you know, 6 minus 7, well that equals negative 1. And then I do 7 minus 6, so 7 minus 6, that equals positive 1. If I then do 6 minus 3, 6 minus 3, that equals positive 3. And then I do 3 minus negative 2, and that equals positive 5. So what I've just done here is I've found my first differences. Okay, and so if I look at my first differences, they are actually all different. Okay, and so if your first differences are all the same, oh dear, let me try that again. If your first differences are all the same, then what that means is that you've got a linear relationship. But these first differences are not the same. So what we need to do now is we need to extend this and look at the second differences. So finding out what's the difference between two consecutive first differences. So again, to do that, what I need to do is I take, again, I work my way from the bottom to the top. So negative 1 minus 1, positive 1, equals negative 2. Then I do 1 minus 3. That equals negative 2. And then 3 minus 5, and that equals negative 2. Now, if I look at this piece right here, these are all my second differences. Okay? And so my second differences are the same. And when second differences are the same, that means that it's a quadratic relationship. So therefore, it's quadratic. because the second differences are the same. Okay? Uh, that's a very useful thing to be aware of as we're going through. Okay? Uh, another way to know that is if we take a look at the equations themselves. Okay? So if we take a look at uh, different forms of equations, we'll notice that any equation where the highest exponent So highest exponent, if it is x to the 1, then it's linear. If it's x squared, then it's quadratic. Okay? Uh, and so if it's not x to the 1, here, let me try that again. So an example of a linear uh, example could be y equals 3x minus 7, okay? There's no exponent that's immediately seen, uh, so the exponent is actually 1. A quadratic example would be y equals negative 2x squared plus 3, okay? So where the highest exponent is a 2, it's quadratic. Where the highest exponent is a 1, it's linear. If it's neither one of those two things, then it's not a linear or a quadratic relationship.